Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this pricing table from scratch. So first of all, we designed it using Figma and now we are converting it to a real web page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now this is our progress as of now and we can see that the design is complete. But there's one more thing that we need to do which is uh, we want to change the price when uh, we go to the yearly plan and then change the price back when we go back to the monthly plan. So we'll do that using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here I am in my project. So before getting started with the JavaScript, I want to just make a small change in the CSS. So when we hover over these buttons, I want to change the background color a little bit. So let's go to the CSS and I will just do that really quick. So let's go over here and find the code for the anchor tag, which is the button. So this is the button for the best value plan. So let's add some styles for the hover. So we'll type pricing table. I'll just copy this. And uh, here we will just type a button colon hover. And let's type background. And uh, let's find out the code for the yellow color so this is the code for the yellow color now in VS code you can just hover over this color and you will get this color picker now let's just go ahead and choose a lighter color from here so I'll just choose this color right here and change this back to the hex code right we'll also add a transition so that we have a smooth animation between the colors so I'll just tap transition of all to 400 milliseconds Let's go back and see whether it works. So here when we hover over this, we can see that the color is changing. We'll also add a darker color for the hover of these buttons. So let's find the code for that button. So it's right here, pricing table a.btn. So let's add a hover for that. Pricing table a.btn colon hover. And uh, we'll set the background color. And we'll find the code for the dark blue color so this is the hex code for the dark blue color now let's hover over this and uh, let's select a darker color from here so i'll just select this one right here and we'll also add a transition all to 400 milliseconds right let's go back and uh, let's hover over the button and we can see that the color is changing all right now let's start with the javascript so first of all let's see what are the things we need to access in javascript so we need to access uh, these prices in JavaScript and then we also need to access uh, this text right here. So we want to change it to per year. So let's go back to our HTML and we will add some classes over here so that we can target them easily. So for the first price, we have a class of price, but we'll also add one more class. We'll call it basic price. And for the span for the month, we will add a class and we'll just give it a class of plan duration so let me just copy this from here and uh, let's go to the next plan which is uh, the professional plan so here for the price I'll also add one more class professional price and uh, here we'll add the class plan duration and we'll do the same with the last plan which is the business plan so we we'll just have business plan and we'll add the class plan duration over here and we'll also need to access the plan switch so if you go up over here we can see that uh, we have already added this class called plan switch for this input of type checkbox so let's go to our JavaScript and uh, let's start referencing all of that so we'll just type const plan switch and we'll type document dot query selector dot plans switch now since we have the class we are adding dot over here if you had an id we would just type hash instead of dot right so let's go ahead and reference all the other elements we'll just reference the basic price so i'll just type basic price document dot query selector basic price and we'll just type professional price document dot query selector professional price and then we have business price And lastly, we also need to access the plan duration. All 
right now we'll add an event listener to this switch and we'll see whether it is checked or not so to add an event listener we'll just type plan switch dot add event listener and we'll check for the event called change this will tell us whether the checkbox is checked or not and here we will add an error function so whenever the state of this plan switch changes this event will be fired and here we'll check if the plan switch is checked so we'll type plan switch dot checked and if it is checked then uh, it means that we are on the yearly plan so we have to change this text to yearly and we have to change the price of all of these so let's type basic price dot inner text equals and we'll set the price to three forty nine dollars and then we have the professional price and we'll set the inner text to dollar four ninety nine and then we have business price dot inner text equals dollar seven ninety nine and then we need to change the plan duration now if you take a look at the plan duration class in the index.html we can see that there are multiple plan duration classes so for each of the plans we have plan duration now here we have just accessed the first element over here now to access all the elements we have to type query selector all now we'll get all the plan durations inside this uh, constant right here now here we'll loop through all of those so we'll just type plan duration dot for each now for each of the plan duration I'll just name it P and uh, we'll create an error function and here we'll type P which will access each of the plan durations inside this uh, array of plan duration individually and we'll set each of the values to per year right now if the plan switch is not checked then we have to change back to the price of the monthly so let's type else and I'll just copy all of these over here and paste it down here and we'll just change all of these prices the first one is 49 and uh, the second one is uh, 99 and the third one is 149 and we'll change this to month right now I think it should work all right so let's go back to our website and let's click on this switch and we can see that when we go to the yearly plan the prices have changed and this price hasn't changed and even the month has not changed to year so let's go back to our JavaScript and see whether we have any problems in our code before that let's go ahead and check out the inspector and let's go to console and here we have some errors cannot set property in the text of null so I think we are calling something which is not there so business price so it is showing some errors with the business price let's go back over here and see whether we have any errors and uh, let's go back to the index.html file and uh, here we have typed business plan we have to change it to business price right now it should work all right so let's click on the switch and now we can see that the prices have changed and the text has changed to per year and when we go back to the monthly plan the prices change to the monthly plans so that's basically it with the JavaScript and with that we have completed the design of our pricing table we have started all the way from scratch using Figma and we have converted it to a real web page using HTML CSS and JavaScript now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so you can go ahead and check that. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.